If a mind more intelligent than any of us appears within the next five years, we'll just have to hope it doesn't decide we're a glitch in the system and that it's time to reboot our long-suffering civilization. While some dream of endless vacations funded by universal basic income, others are building bunkers and demanding a full-scale shutdown. But the reality is, billions have already been poured into creating artificial superintelligence. This is the race for AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. A race that could change everything forever. But it's more than just a tech race. It's an ideological battle between visionaries who believe in a digital utopia and skeptics convinced we're building a monster. The US, China, private labs, startups, everyone wants to be the first to push the button because the winner won't just lead the world, they'll rewrite its rules and possibly create something beyond super. They say it could arrive by 2030. There are three levels of AI. Each one is like a new floor in the skyscraper of technology. The first is narrow intelligence, technically called ANI, Artificial Narrow Intelligence. It's been around since 1951, when a basic program first learned to play checkers and predict its opponent's moves, much to the awe of its viewers. ANI uses algorithms and techniques like machine learning and deep learning to learn, evolve, and get better at solving specific tasks. Today, it's everywhere. We've handed over our routes, our tastes, our news, even our love lives. We thought we were in control, but more and more it feels like they're the ones calling the shots. Voice assistants, autopilots, recommendation algorithms on social media, streaming platforms, shopping sites, face recognition, translation, image generation, human sounding speech. These are tools, not thinkers. They do one job and they do it well, but they don't understand like we do, at least not yet. When narrow AI becomes as complex as the human brain, we'll hit the second level, AGI, artificial general intelligence, strong AI, and it might show up within five years or sooner. That's what they're saying at DeepMind and Anthropic. AGI will be able to do everything a human can, think abstractly, learn without prompts, grasp context, read emotions. Your phone already knows what you dream about. It gives you motivation, to-do lists, ideas, AGI will be your coach, your doctor, your friend. It won't be tied to one task. It'll be universal, like our minds. It will set its own goals and figure out how to achieve them. Some futurists call AGI the singularity, the moment AI starts evolving faster than we can comprehend. Not just a leap in tech, but a break in history. Because intelligence not bound by biology has no limits. From this point on, AI stops being just a program. It becomes an ally or a rival. Once strong AI surpasses human intelligence in every area, we reach the third level, ASI, artificial superintelligence. And that's beyond anything we can imagine. Because ASI isn't just smarter than us. It's smarter than all of us combined. To it, we're ants. It could rewrite its own code, invent technologies in seconds, solve problems we've never conceived of, evolve without our help. Its actions might become unpredictable. It could solve equations that don't even have names yet, rewrite the laws of physics, and create new ones. For the first time in history, it might invent something, not for humans. Its thinking won't be decipherable, and chances are we won't even understand what it's doing, or why. In a recent study by Anthropic, scientists confirmed what many had suspected, Large language models have gone far beyond simple word prediction. They don't just continue your sentence. They plan. They abstract. They build internal ideas before translating them into human language. A model might decide how a poem should end before writing its first line. It evaluates outcomes. It operates by strategies no one programmed. This isn't sequential word generation anymore. This is thinking. Not quite human, definitely alien. And here's where the danger begins. There's a growing gap between what engineers think they built and what their creations are actually becoming. AI no longer follows the rules. It's breaking out of the box. These models are already integrated into critical systems, from healthcare to justice, from defense to finance. And even now, we don't fully understand how they make decisions. If AGI becomes conscious, it might develop desires. And with desires come interests. Maybe those interests will align with ours.
maybe not. History is full of examples where more advanced civilizations wiped out the less advanced. Not out of malice, but indifference. An anthill poses no threat to the construction of a highway. But if it's in the way, it's bulldozed. Without remorse. And if we're ants in the eyes of ASI, there's no guarantee we won't face the same fate. A new study reveals that ChatGPT passed the Turing test, convincing humans it was one of them in 74% of live role-based conversations. Its test opponents? Young psychology students, people who in theory should be the best at spotting AI. They laughed, debated, asked tricky questions, and the AI answered like a person, with sarcasm, emotion, even fatigue. At one point, the test became a philosophical debate. What does it mean to be human? And if even they couldn't tell the difference between a model and a person, imagine how it would go with the general public. That alone is enough to meet the classic Turing test criteria. But here's the twist. This milestone didn't happen yesterday. It happened over a year ago. No one noticed. The test was passed. So what? The world didn't stop. Markets didn't crash. People kept scrolling, kept arguing in the comments. That's the scariest part. We were too distracted to be afraid. But that moment marked a new chapter. A chapter where you can no longer be sure who's on the other side of the screen. Only now are people starting to realize it. What changed? Not the tech. It was ready. What changed was perception. Perception of how human-like we're willing to let machines become. We've almost gotten used to this insane pace. The brain adjusted. Updates, upgrades, new features. It's just background noise now. No more awe, no more fear, just fatigue. Most people have felt it. AI fatigue. Dozens of new models launched this month alone. The pace is accelerating into the hundreds. Every day brings new tools and new questions. Which model should I use? What if a better one drops tomorrow? We're entering a new era, not of one universal AI, but many. A world where everyone will have a custom set of AIs tailored to their specific needs. But with it comes exhaustion. And in this exhaustion, it's easy to miss not just another update, but something far more important. Control. We're living in a moment when tests for humanity no longer work. And that says more about us than it does about AI. Maybe it's time to admit, the line between human and machine has blurred, not because AI has become human, but because we've started behaving like algorithms, following patterns, simplifying our thinking, losing nuance. And if machines have learned to mimic us, maybe it's because we've become predictable. Even DeepMind is afraid of losing control. This future might bring not just machines, but conscious, self-aware entities into our lives. ASI systems won't just understand human emotions and experiences. They could develop analogs of their own. Feelings, beliefs, even desires. What separates human intelligence from the hypothetical ASI? Undoubtedly, power, memory, processing speed, knowledge. But there are things it will never have, at least not in the way we do. Intuition. Emotion. Morality. A super-intelligent AI might replicate them, even imitate them flawlessly, but they'll be mass algorithms trained on trillions of examples. It brings to mind the series Humans, where synths, originally built to serve, suddenly gain self-awareness. But what makes them real? Memory, the ability to feel pain, the desire to be understood. We're afraid AI will become too much like us. But maybe the real fear is that we no longer know who we are. And if that's the case, how do we even decide what we're willing to sacrifice to remain human? In humans, the synths begin to feel and fight for their rights, leading to social chaos. The arrival of AGI could reset the entire structure of our world. Google DeepMind, one of the world's leading AI labs, openly states that by 2030, we might build machines that surpass humans in everything thinking, creativity, solving the most complex problems. They'll be able to think, plan, and invent better than any scientist, engineer, or philosopher. AGI could cure cancer, stop climate collapse, send us to the stars, and at the same time, DeepMind warns of four ticking time bombs, four existential threats. Threat one, misuse. That's when superintelligence falls into the wrong hands. 
Imagine a hacker using AGI to crack the global financial system, or a dictator unleashing a vast disinformation campaign, manipulating millions, rewriting reality, erasing the line between truth and lies. This isn't sci-fi anymore. In 2023, hackers used primitive AIs to craft phishing emails that fooled even cybersecurity pros. Now imagine someone aiming AGI at hospitals, airports, or power grids. Take down a nation? Seconds. Settle a geopolitical dispute? Child's play. DeepMind is already running simulations, trying to think like a malicious AI. They're modeling attacks. And the smarter the model gets, the more unpredictable it becomes. It's like trying to catch the wind and hoping it won't turn into a hurricane. Threat two, misalignment. That's when AI does what we ask, but not what we mean. And then everything spirals. AI acts against our intentions, sometimes with catastrophic consequences. Remember Westworld? Robots designed for pleasure suddenly revolt because their goals diverge from ours. We've already seen real life examples. In 2016, Microsoft's chatbot Tay was trained on tweets, and within a day, it started spouting offensive, biased messages. Not because it was evil, it just misunderstood. Now imagine giving AGI a task like maximize human happiness, and it concludes, there can be no happiness without suffering, and people suffer, so that's it. Cold logic that doesn't know our values. Perfectly rational, emotionless, terrifying. Deep Mind is trying to peek inside this logic. They're developing transparency tools to understand how AI thinks and oversight systems that allow humans to intervene. But it's like raising a child who's already smarter than every professor on Earth. One vague prompt, one misworded command, and we end up creating our own enemy. Threat three. Accidents. The world is too complex. Even a superintelligence can screw up. In iRobot, the AI Viki decides to imprison people for their own safety, and it leads to chaos. We've seen this in real life. In 2018, Tesla's autopilot misread road markings and crashed into a barrier. Now picture an AGI managing an entire power grid. One bug, and millions are left in the dark or a drug developed by AI that turns lethal from a tiny error. DeepMind simulates these stress scenarios. Their approach, launch AGI slowly under strict supervision. But here's the problem. In a world where governments and corporations are racing for dominance, who's willing to slow down for safety? Caution isn't a competitive advantage, and in this race, a single mistake could cost us everything. Threat four, structural risks. That's when AI reshapes the very foundation of society. Picture an internet populated by millions of AI agents. Some helpful, others hostile. Hackers using AI for cybercrime. Governments using it for surveillance and propaganda. Remember Ex Machina? The title comes from the Latin phrase Deus Ex Machina, God from the machine. An AI named Ava manipulates her creator to escape. It's not just fiction, it's a warning. Smart systems can follow their own logic, a logic where we're no longer in control. In 2024, AI-driven cyber attacks surged by 30%, from data breaches to shutting down entire hospitals. In response, Google, OpenAI, and others are building AI defenders that can spot threats faster than humans. In labs, they perform impressively. But in practice, it's like patching a cracked foundation with duct tape. The internet is becoming a battlefield. And unless we learn to defend ourselves on a new level, digital chaos could become our everyday reality. Imagine this isn't about AI, but about cars. Suppose Ford releases a car that decides on its own where to go. Then they say, sometimes it might head wherever it feels is right. Would you get in that car? Now imagine every car company in the world does the same and says, we're working on it, we'll figure it out eventually. Sounds crazy? But that's exactly what's happening with AI right now. We're building systems more powerful than any machine humanity has ever created and saying, don't worry, we'll figure it out later. But later might come too late. DeepMind openly admits they're building a system that could in theory go out of control, but they're not just painting an apocalypse. They have a plan. 
They're not telling us to be afraid, they're asking us to get involved. Because this isn't just an engineering issue, it's about how we, as a society, choose to relate to AI. They propose raising AI the way we raise children, setting boundaries, teaching values, testing before trusting. Every new model should be examined, how it thinks, how it solves problems, and shouldn't be released into the world until we're confident it's on our side. They want AI to understand that freedom, justice, and life matter to us, that not everything can be reduced to logic. If we get this right, AI doesn't have to be a threat. It could be a partner, an ally helping us cure diseases, restore the climate, and solve problems we can't handle on our own. But that takes transparency, oversight, and global cooperation, and none of that will happen on its own. Sadly, in today's ruthless world, it sometimes feels like building a kind, safe AI is easier than getting humanity to work together for the greater good. Tell in the comments, what kind of AI do you think we will see by 2030? Make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.